let's solve the equation x divided by 2 minus 3 equals 7 using backtracking. When we use backtracking, we're always going to start with the variable, in this case x. Then we're going to follow the order of operations as if somebody had told us what x is equal to. So for example, if we said x is equal to 10, we would do 10 divided by 2, and then we'd subtract 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 minus 3 is 2. So the answer is not 10. But if we know the answer, we can plug it in, and we should get the same number on both sides. Let's solve using backtracking. First, we need to show that x is equal to something. We don't really know what it is yet, so I'm going to put a question mark. We can go from the x that we don't know, and we can divide by 2. Then, still following the order of operations, we needed to divide first. Next, we will subtract 3. And this will get us to the other side of the equal sign, 7. To solve using backtracking, now that we have it set up, we just need to backtrack. The opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So we're going to take 7 plus 3, and that's going to give us 10. Next, the opposite of dividing 2 is multiplying by 2. 10 times 2 is 20. So now we know what x is equal to. We no longer have this unknown or this question mark. x is equal to 20. Well, what if we're not feeling very confident about this? We can go back and we can check our answers, just like how we normally would. This time we're starting with x equals 20. If that's the case, following the order of operations, the next thing we would do is divide by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Next, we would subtract 3, which gives us 7. Now we can just keep going in circles over and over. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And 10 minus 3 is 7. But we don't need to do that. Once we've gone full circle, we know that we have our answer, and we've checked it, and our answer is correct.